Hello and welcome to the third lecture session of NDT. In the previous lecture session, we will discuss about the basic things of visual or optical inspection. In that lecture session, we will discuss about the definition, basic principle, procedure, and what are the instruments used in the in this inspection? Or what are what are the inspection? And what are the tools help inspect the visual inspection? For that, there in previous lecture, I will discuss on two parts. Two parts that is magnifying glasses and magnifying. Mirror. From now, we will spend the another portion. So let's start with the so students. Let's start with the next lecture session. So students, next one is next one next uh, tools which is used for the visual inspection. That is microscope. An optical microscope is a combination of lenses used to magnify the ma or manage magnify the image of a small object so it is a combination of lenses to magnify the image of a small object the object is placed close to the lens to obtain as high a magnification as possible so that object is placed close to the lens next the distance from the lens to object is adjust until the object is at the depth of field of the lens and is in focus the simple form of a microscope a <coughs> This, this, the, the, the simple form of a microscope is a single converging lens, often referred to as a simple magnifier. Magnification of a single lens is determined by the equation of m equals to 10 by F where F is the focal length of the lens. A lens length, focal length of the lens 10 is a constant that represents the average minimum distance at which objects can be distinctly seen by the unaided eye or the naked eye. Using the equation m equals to 10 by f, a lens with a focal length of 5 inch has a magnification of 2 or is said to be a 2 power less of 2 x. The focal length of a simple magnifier the focal length of a simple magnifier and its working focal length of the simple magnifier is less than its focal length <coughs> sorry the focal length of a simple magnifier and its working distance are approximately same the field of view is the area seen through the magnifier. The diameter of the field of view of a simple magnifier is less than its focal length. Selection of a magnifier with the proper field of view is important. For example, if a large object is 
to be examined the time involved using a power using a 20 power magnifier. would be prohibited. The proper procedure is to first use a low power magnifier, marking questionable area and then examine the suspect area in detail with a high power magnifier. The depth of field is the term used to indicate the distance of a magnifier which can be moved towards or away from a subject with the subject remaining in good focus. At other distance the subject is out of focus and not sharply defined. So depth of the field will vary with the power of the lens and is comparatively greater in lower power magnifier and decreasing as the power of the lens increases. Minute defects and detail of fine structure on a surface can be detected more easily with this microscope. The practical upper limit of the magnifying power of a simple microscope is in the region of 10x. Optical microscopes are used to evaluate with respect to shape and orientation of cracks. In the first case, a low power microscope having a magnification of 2 to 20x, which is used. In the second case, the magnification of 100 to 500x is used. So in the later case, the magnification is 1500 to 2000x is needed. So student, microscope basically is a combination of lenses which is used to magnify the image of a small object where object is placed to the place close to the lens. Magnification power was to 10 by f. The practical upper limit of the magnifying power is in the region of 10 minutes. And here is a picture of the microscope. So this is the microscope which is used to inspect to find out the defects in visual testing methods. So let's this is the Let's discuss the next slide that is a boroscope. As the noun, as the name implies, a boroscope is an instrument designed to enable an observer to impact the inside of the narrow tube or, or a Chamber. Boroscope consists of precision built in illumination system having a complex arrangement of this and plain lenses through which light is passed to the observer with maximum efficiency. The light source located in front of ahead of the object lens provided illumination for the part being examined. As the length of the boroscope is increased, the image becomes less bright because of loss of light. Boroscopes are available. <coughs> The light source located in front or ahead of the object lens provided illumination for the part being missing. As the length of the boroscope is increased, the image becomes less bright because of 
loss of light. So that horoscopes are available in numerous models from 2.5 to 19 millimeter in diameter and a few meter in length. Generally, the, the diameter of the horoscope depends upon the diameter of the hole or bow has to be inspected. The length of the horoscope is governed by the distance between the available axis and the distance to the inspection area. Optical systems are generally designed to provide direct right angle, retrospective and oblique vision. The choice of the inspection angle is determined by flow type and location. In most horoscope, the observed visual area is approximately 25 mm in diameter at 25 mm distance from the object. The size of the visual field usually vary with the diameter for a given magnification system. Hmm. So, so student is short. Horoscope is used to inspect the incident of a narrative bow or chamber. This flexibility with an eyepiece at one end and objective lens at the another end. Consists of complex arrangement of prism and lenses. The light source located in front or ahead of the lens. The available range is 2.5 mm to 90 mm. So this is the boroscope. The figure is shown the boroscope which is helps to defend or to find out the cracks or flaws by the visual during the visual inspection. So after the postscope, the next one is endoscope. The endoscope is much like a boroscope except that it has a superior optical system and a high intensity light source. Who is this? Sorry. Which is not available in the postcode. Various viewing angle as discussed in the case of postcode. A unique feature of endoscope. A unique feature of endoscope is that objects are constantly in focus from about 4 millimeter to infinity. Here the objectives are constantly focused from 4 millimeter to infinity. Actually when the T is about 4 millimeter from the surface being inspected a magnification factor of about 10 X is achieved. The no focusing feature of the endoscope makes it much easier to use than a borescope, which needs to be focused, which needs to be focused at the inspection area. These endoscopes are available in diameter down to 1.5 millimeter 
and in length and in length from 100 to 1500 millimeter so students in short endoscope is is weight superior than the boroscope just because of optical system and high intensity light source so in the, and various viewing angles so this is the basic difference in between boroscope and endoscope then magnification factor of the endoscope is 10x the availability the availability of endoscope is up to smaller diameter of 1.7 mm and length is started from 100 mm to 1500 mm so students these are the another tools which is used to find out the defects in visual inspection next one is flexiscope flexiscope or flexible fiber optic boroscope it permit manipulation of the instrument around corner and through passage with several direction changes Woven Woven stainless, stainless steel sitting potted the image really bundled during repeated flexing and maneuvering. These devices are designed to provide sharp and clean images of part and interior surfaces that are normally impossible to inspect. Remote NT deflection allows the viewer to thread the fiber scope through complex and series of pen. The NT is deflected by using a rotating control mechanism mounted on the hand. Most of the devices have a wide angle objective lens that provide a degree field of view and tip deflection of plus minus 90 degree they all have fiber optic image bundle and equip with the focus control to bear it to bring the subject into sharp focus over a wide range of viewing distance the working length of normally from 60 centimeter to 365 centimeter with the diameter from 3 millimeter to 12.5 millimeter so students in short the flexis for is known as flexible fiber optic boroscope. Moving stainless steel sheathing protect the image, the relay binding length. Here, the wide angle of the objective lens, the wide angle of the objective lenses provides 100 degree field of view and tip deflection of plus minus 90 the diameter range of the flexiscope is starting from 3 millimeter to 12.5 millimeter 
length of this axis go vary between 60 cm to 365 cm so students these are the another tools which is used to find out the defects or crack or flow in a specimen during the visual inspection visual inspection the next one is telescope telescope is used to obtain magnified images of object at considerable distance from the eye it is particularly useful for providing visual examination of the surface which is otherwise inaccessible it consists essentially of two lenses one is known called as objective lens and another one is eyepiece the telescope can be used in conjunction with a periscope for viewing a concealed surface but CCTV is also used for this purpose right now so students in short telescope is used to obtain magnified images at a distance from the human with the consists of two lenses one is called eyepiece another is called objective piece. it can be used in connection with the periscope nowadays cctv or closed circuit television is used for this purpose so students this is the another instrument for which is helps the visual inspection the next one is holography <coughs> holography is the name given to the method of obtaining an accurate 3D image of a given object. The process is carried out in two stages. At first, a permanent record in the form of two dimensional interface pattern is obtained on a photographic plane by means of a laser film. Three dimensional image is then obtained from two dimensional record again using a laser. In this way, a picture having a high definition and free form elevation can be obtained without the use of a camera. Holography is used for NDT of surface of highly complicated and precision components without the disadvantage of having to use a high power microscope. In a simple operation, a hologram can provide a record of the image of an entire surface which can be readily compared with that of a standard defect 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 free surface. So, students, in short, holography is used to is just used to the method of obtaining an accurate CD image. This is used this is used helps to provide a record the image of an entire surface and HD picture is obtained without the use of camera the holographic can be obtained of a basic picture 
the diesel. So students, all of this also other tools which is used for the visual inspection. So students, to this that are the tools are used for the visual inspection. Let's discuss about the application. Inspection of plant system component of any leakage abnormal operation visual inspection is helps. It defects, corrosion, erosion, cracks, fracture, mismatch, porosity, lack of penetration. Minor discontinuity with the help of optical aid, pump, compressor, turbo generator parts, ins uh, instruments, etc. So basically these are the application parts of the visual. come to the benefits. It's a very simple but an effective test. It does not need expensive equipment. Training and experiences time can be short. Experienced operator and advanced equipment make it possible for the visual inspection to be very sensitive. Many different surface breaking discontinuity can be found and it is virtually any component can be examined. So students, these are the basic benefits of the visual inspection. And every, as I told, uh, everything, those are the positivity, they also have some negativity. So here also some limitation of the visual inspection. So what are they? Yeah, many variables can lead to discontinuity being missed as it was it release rely totally on the human factor many organisms pay little attention to the proper training of the operator such such surface discontinuation will be not be seen so students these are the limit so so still now uh, learning about the second part of the visual inspection where we can learn the rest of the instrument which are used for the visual inspection their application their benefits and also their limits so the, these are the totally from here we have completed the visual inspection. So in the next lecture session, so students, in the next lecture session, we will discuss in the next lecture session we will discuss the new topics that is liquefied penetration testing. So, so still then stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you. Thank you so much.